Hello all, welcome back to Auto 17 development tutorial. Today, in this video, let us discuss about models in Auto 17. Auto developing can be default structures like models, views, security, etc. Models are the database tables. A model is a class that maps to a data relation. It will include all the necessary fields and behavior for the data you will be storing. Mainly there are three types of models, models, abstract models and transient models. So let us discuss about models and how can we create a model in Odo 17. For that, first of all let's go to the settings. In the settings, make sure to activate development mode. At the bottom here you can see the development mode. After activating the development mode, you will be able to see the technical menu here. In the technical menu, at the bottom or at, under the database structure, you can see the sub menu model. On clicking it here, can we be able to see all the created models will be able to see here. So here you can see different models that is account.account, rust.bank, rust.partner, mail.thread. So these are all our models. So here you can see the created models can be viewed here. So on clicking, if you want to create a new model through UI, you just click on the new button and you can create a new uh, model through the UI. So let us check how can we create a new model through Python file. For that, let's go to the Python. In the Python, I have already created a new module here that is college management. And here, as I told, here you can see the order developing structures can be viewed here. So here you can see the models, security and views can be viewed here. So here you can see the init file will be uh, initialize the Python file. And here you can see the manifest file. In the manifest file, we will define the name or uh, our module name uh, and versions, order and so on and so we will define. Also, we will define the data that is the security and view files are defined here. So Let's go to the models. In the models, here you can see the init file. The init file, here we can import other files that lies inside the models. So, for that, uh, I have created a model. Here you can see I have created a Python file here that is student record. Let's import it to the init. So, for that, from dot import the Python file. That is the, here the Python file is student dot record. So let's import it. Here you can see the we have imported the Python file here. Now let's go to the student dot record. I'm going to create a new uh, model that is student record where we can create students record. So for that, first of all, when we are creating a new model, we need to uh, import models and fields from the auto. So let's import models and fields from auto. So from auto, import. After importing models and fields from Odo, let's define our class. So we so let's define class that is class. Let's give the class name as student record. So now let's give the model name that is name equal to uh, student dot record. And let's define the let's give a description for the model. So I'm adding a description here. That is, after adding the description, here you can see I have defined a name to our model that is student.record. So let's give the fields to it. So let's define or let's add some fields. So I'm adding some fields that is first name equal to and let's add the string. So the string as so let's add some more fields. I'm adding some more fields here. So you can see I have added some fields to the model. After adding some fields, make sure to, as uh, it is a new model, we have to define the security for it. So make sure to give security for this model. So here you can see I have added a security directory and in the security directory, I have added a file where we can define the security for our model. So here you can see I have given security to my model. And here you can see you can give security like this. After adding security, you can see that I have defined a view for this model. Here you can see the model view. You can see the form view and the tree view can be viewed here. Here you can see the menu action and menu that I have created. 
and here you can see all the field or the fields that have created can be viewed here you can see the fields here and here you can see the models also here you can see that i have initialized the model directory here and here you can see the manifest i have added the security and view files to the manifest after that let's run the pycharm and after running the pycharm let's go to the app and let's in upgrade or other install our module so let's go to the uh, let's search our module I have already initialized or uh, I have already installed this module, so let's upgrade it. After upgrading, show sure. here you can see the uh, module that I have created that is college management. If, if we click the new button here, here you can create a new record for the model student.record. So let's go to the settings and let's check the model name whether the model name can be viewed here. So let's go to the models in the settings so here you can see the model so here you can see model so let's check the model name that is student so here you can see the model that i have created can be viewed here also so here you can see the model and in the model here you can see the model description model record uh, and order and the fields that i have added can also be viewed here you can see the access rights can be see here you can see the read access write access and create and also delete access that i have defined in the security can be viewed here so you can add like this so this is how we can create models in order 17 thank you